With a wild center, this is Lunchtime Live. We're talking about nature and exciting wildlife. Encounters with otters and owls too. From Tupper Lake right to you. Learn about the plants and trees. There's so much to explore and see. Lunchtime Live, it's time to start the show. From the wild center, here we go. Good afternoon. Today is Monday, February 22nd. My name is Nick. Welcome to another edition of Lunchtime Live Presents The Wild Wire, our weekly show that highlights some of the things happening at the Wild Center. You know, one of the things that we talk about at the Wild Center is connecting people with nature. And one of my favorite ways to do that is as simply as getting my dog outside for a walk. So today we are doing that at the Brewster Peninsula Trails here in Lake Placid. Right now I'm standing on the frozen Lake Placid. You can see uh, White Face over one shoulder and uh, Moose Mackenzie Mountain over the other. We're gonna go uh, take a look at some of the things that you can check out on the Peninsula Trails. Before we do that, let's head inside to my home office and check out some of the things happening at the Wild Center this week. All right, through the magic of video editing, we are back inside. Let's log on to wildcenter.org to check out what is happening at the Wild Center this week. Since winter week has wrapped, the Wild Center is back to regular days and time. So we are open Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Daytime hours from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then Wild Lights presented by Merrill Thomas still happens from 5 to 7 p.m. As a reminder, Wild Lights happens only through mid-March, so if you haven't had a chance to get out for our music and lights experience, be sure to do that before that concludes for the winter. Those visiting during regular daytime hours have an opportunity for all-day animal viewing in the outdoor classroom. That's where folks can get a chance to see Cora, the common raven, Stickley, the North American porcupine, maybe even a peregrine falcon or an owl too, so be sure to check that out. Also happening on site all day, free snowshoe rentals and kick sled rentals. If you haven't done that, I highly encourage uh, you to get outside and give those a try. Those are loads of fun, especially at the Wild Center. Also happening every single day at the Wild Center from 12 to 4 o'clock is ice fishing. That's an opportunity to get out uh, in a nice, safe, socially distant area on Greenleaf Pond to try your hand at ice fishing if you've never done it before but have had interest. Um, this is a great place to um, to learn how to ice fish. And of course, Wild Lights, uh, presented by Merrill Thomas, happening from 5 to 7. As a reminder, if you do book regular daytime Wild Center admission, that also includes Wild Lights. So feel free to come at any time. Um, try out the kick slides, go ice fishing, and then stay for Wild Lights. And of course, um, all winter programming at the Wild Center is supported by uh, Adirondack Frontier, the Franklin County Destination Event Program, and Community Bank. So thank you to our supporters for that. Also happening this week on February 24th and 25th, that is Wednesday and Thursday, is the fourth annual Feedback Virtual Summit presented by Craig Garden and its partners. Um, during that virtual event, um, join presenters as they bring creative, scholarly, and frontline perspectives together into a dynamic conversation. The two-day summit also includes guest speakers and special sessions, and that includes um, food and climate change presentation, which uh, the Wild Center is doing. So if you are interested in that, you can get more information. You can register at craiggarden.com. That's C R A I G. A R D A N dot org, CraigGarden.org. So be sure to check that out. All right. Also, coming up in a couple weeks, actually, Tuesday, March 9th, is the next edition of the Wild Center's Animal Club. If you haven't participated before, this is a virtual event open to folks not only in the Adirondacks in New York State, but truly uh, across the world. It's your opportunity to join the Animal Club where you'll get to meet a new member of our menagerie each month. So it's your uh, opportunity to chat with a Wild Center naturalist uh, as they go behind the scenes and show you some of the animal ambassadors that call the Wild Center home. 
This month, we are focusing on mammals. So um, your chance to discover the diversity of Adirondack mammals with two of the Wild Center's furry animal ambassadors. Um, take a glimpse into the world of the last marsupial of North America and go out on a limb with the second largest rodent in the Adirondacks. Those are a couple hints of the animals that you get a chance to interact with um, during those um, animal club events. And of course, get more information at wildcenter.org slash calendar. Again, that happens um, March 9th from six to seven o'clock. That is free for members, so a nice plug. Uh, another one of the great perks of being a Wild Center member is not only being able to visit anytime you want for free, but also to take part in some of these virtual events also for free. If you're not a member, that's no problem. You can still tune in. It is $15 per household or per screen. So like I said, get more information on that at wildcenter.org slash calendar. That wraps up the indoor portion of today's episode. Let's head back out to the Peninsula Trails to check out some of the cool features out there. So Lake Placid, which you're seeing frozen over right here, is one of the cleanest lakes in all of New York State. Provides drinking water for the village of Lake Placid. This lake is about five miles long with 12 miles of shoreline. Right now we are standing on um, the west bank of the peninsula. Show you on a map. So one of my favorite features of the Peninsula Trails is this little uh, feature where Lake Placid, which uh, we were standing on before, which is frozen over, eventually leads into the Outlet Brook, which will dump into the Chubb River and then further outlets into the West Branch of the Au Sable River. One of my favorite views in the winter time here in Lake Placid. On somewhat overcast days like today, when it's not too cloudy, you get a really beautiful view of White Face Mountain over here. And then Mackenzie Mountain, which is actually a part of the Saranac Lake Sixers. So we've gotten a few days of pretty heavy snowfall in the Adirondacks this winter. And with some cold days, it hasn't really melted, which creates this cool effect um, in the piles of snow where you can almost see where the snow is dumped and then settled a little bit and more snow on top of it. it creates these cool layers in some spots around the trails. So the ease of access and the relative flatness of the Peninsula Trails and the Jackrabbit Trail um, make this a very popular snowshoeing and cross-country skiing venue in the winter time. But in the summer, this is a really beautiful spot as well. Let's head over here, check out some of the wildflowers that you might see here in the spring once all of this snow melts. Peninsula trails are located in a mixed wood forest of coniferous and deciduous trees. The conifers here uh, include spruces and pines, balsam firs and northern white cedar. Those tend to have triangular silhouettes and needle-like or scaly leaves. Most coniferous, most conifers keep their leaves throughout the year. Um, and those thin needle-like leaves with waxy coatings are adapted to withstand drought conditions. 
um, that result from freezing temperatures in the winter, like we're seeing today. The deciduous trees like birches, maples, cherries, and beeches that are located um, on this trail have trunks that fork repeatedly into smaller branches, resulting in more rounded forms. The deciduous trees lose their leaves in the fall. And of course, losing leaves is an adaptation um, to conserve water in the winter and help prevent branches from breaking under heavy snow loads. Thank you for joining Riggins and I on the Peninsula Trails today. Uh, be sure to tune into all of our live programming every day at 12 o'clock Eastern on our Facebook page. And also check out archives if you missed anything at wildcenter.org slash digital. There you can find old episodes of Lunchtime Live. You can find old episodes of Nature Lab, our virtual visit, and everything in between. Thanks for tuning in and have a great week.